Okay. <laughs> Let's get started. This is how to get Windows 7 on your XP. Well, the style of Windows 7. First of all, for the record, I didn't make any of these files. Second of all, uh, if you have an, if it messes up your computer in any way, I'm not the person to contact. Well, if, if it has a small problem, you can just leave a comment or something and I'll help you fix it, so. Alright, this is how to get Windows 7. So you're going to go to my website and it's going to be on the download link. This is the website. Then you're going to click Windows 7 XP style. You're going to download that. I already have it downloaded. So, and then it's going to turn into a zip file. Let's get that. Let's see. Here it is. Come on. Okay. Now what you're going to do with this is you're going to drag it in any other file. Or any... Drag it anywhere. Preferably your desktop. Since I have this open. I'll do it here. Okay, this will help you open up different, help you open up certain files. So letting me double click again, is it? Okay. Alright, now first thing you're going to do is you're going to get the style of Windows 7. So you're going to double click Windows 7 Styler. Now you're going to install that. <coughs> Since I already have it installed. should open up. Gonna, it's, it should show in the quick start. Or I think that's what it's called. And then anyway, and then you're going to double click this. Well, since it's not letting me go to normal if you have to right click. Or if you're going to right click. Then the style should be changing. Okay. Look, there you go. Now the next thing you're going to do is you got to get the Windows on start menu. So, how we're going to do that is, <coughs> <coughs> well, we're going to, let's see, this start 7, you're going to open that up, gonna, this start 1 set, Oops. you're going to open that up, you don't have to install anything, it should just open up, or it's not a file, it just loads it. there's any messing up in my voice because of the, the program that I'm using or any program that I ever use to record the video. <laughs> it always messes up. And I'm sorry if that happens. And here you go. There it is. Now you can close it by clicking the arrow and clicking exit. If you don't want it open just for like one or two times or many times as you want it, you click the right start button on your, on your keyboard. There you go, the other one pops up. So, next thing you need to do is you get the icons down here. Now, if you had, when you get it, everything should be one big bar like XP. So to get these icons, you're going to open up uh, I got the size task, task bar. Like, yes, I already have it on. And then it, it should make the icons. But if it doesn't, uh, tell me. Or shoot me a mail, actually. up until you've installed Icon Tweaker. Now, after you've installed that, after you've installed that, you don't need to run it. All you have to do is double click here. Well, open it. Windows 7 Icons. This will open the program. And the new icons, you click Apply. And it'll change your cursor to the Windows 7 cursor. Like that, that, chase some more. 
always. I've all changed to the new Windows 7. Now, the next thing you're going to need to do is get the Vista Drive icon. Which, I don't know how to close it, so, oops. So, if you figure it out, tell me. You can probably close it for processes. I think you can. Oh, well, it's here, but for some reason it doesn't close. Sorry, my friend's talking to me. Um, okay. And then it probably should be in there. And there you go. After you've installed that, run it, and then... There it is. Okay, now. I think that's it, and ignore the README. Because it was when it was in a zip file. And I'm too lazy to go submit it again on my website. So, have fun. Tell your friends about my website. Soon, let's see, this will, this right here will be a link to go to this YouTube video. So, have fun, enjoy, comment, and, yeah. So, there you go.